Welcome everyone. Today I'm joined by Andy uh, and we are very excited to demonstrate a highly anticipated product. Mike has told me multiple times our community really wants to have a demo of SpyKey. Actually, not just the demo of SpyKey, but the demo we did during our talk during DevWorld. Um, because the video DevWorld uh, was going to supply us takes a little bit longer, uh, we thought, well, let's bring you our, our demo a bit earlier. So um, Andy, take it away. Hey everyone. Um, in this demo, we're going to uh, show you um, a demonstration of a pizza delivery app. So in this case, we will have, uh, I will just start a video for here. As you can see, in the middle, we have uh, the pizza delivery app. This is for the customer, where the customer is going to be uh, completely unknown yet. They are not yet onboarded on any Spyrokey type of uh, account. And they're going to first uh, interact with the blockchain. So when they click on login, they will be presented with Cadena Spyrokey. And here they are prompted to create a new account. So immediately the user will be uh, helped uh, to onboard. And the moment we onboard, we will be sent back to our uh, DAP. So this really makes it seamless for an end user to get into a DAP, even if they haven't been interact, uh, interacting with a blockchain yet. So funny thing here, Andy, because, and that's also the feedback we got when while we were at DevWorld, um, the whole flow is pretty much seamless, right? It's just a few clicks, people create their wallet with the, uh, some of them with it without even knowing they created a wallet uh, and they can just log in and start interacting with blockchain technology. Right. And the main thing is that we, we really want to focus on this user experience for an end user because we believe that someone who is completely non-technical should be able to interact with it. So this is crucial for our product. We feel like um, someone who is coming from a dApp should be seamlessly creating an account, not understanding that uh, they're actually interacting with the blockchain but it all be, will be handled for them on the background. Yes. So now, as you can see, we have created a, a demo account on my DevNet and we will be going to uh, connect this wallet to our uh, DAP. So as you can notice from the top, it's now on SpyKey. And once I click and we go to the fur uh, next screen, we'll be on the web shop again. Right, so this whole experience is very seamless. You go from your from your dApp to the wallet and back without ever really having to do much on your own. And if you already have an account, it's just like log in, go to Sparky, click on the login button, and you go straight back. Right, it's just it's, one click that's away. Yeah. That's correct. So um, now we're logged in, and now the the delivery dApp now knows, okay, what my uh, public key is. And so we can start constructing a transaction. For this specific transaction, I'm going to, wait, I'm first going to show you that I actually have uh, money now on this uh, account. So this is a special uh, account, right? This is an account that just got created, but immediately they got 100 KDA funded because otherwise they wouldn't be able to purchase anything. So this is a special uh, environment where every account created with SpyKey is funded 100 KDA. Yeah, so just to be sure, if someone opens a SpyKey account, they will not get 100 KDA funded. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what you see here is we have this 100 KDA. And once we go back, we can start uh, selecting a pizza to order for. I'm going to select a pizza pepperoni. And here we see a small summary still from the DAP. And once we place the order, we'll be sent back to Spyrokey. 
This is the crucial part that we wanted to deliver for end users, because normally you would be seeing some um, packed code, which is human readable, but not yet human understandable. We are trying to aim for human understandability, right? We want every user, whether you are technical or non-technical, to understand what you're going to sign up for. So in this specific case, we are going to sign for accepting a pizza and we will also be accepting this delivery fee. Um, but that will be uh, transferred using the Web of N smart contract. And it will be paid with the Web of N smart contract as well for the guest. This standard of translating capabilities into human readable text, that's uh, a KIP that's going to be uh, published very soon as well, right? Right. So we started working on a, a container improvement proposal for this. Uh, it's not yet uh, public because we are fine tuning the specifications for it. We want to make it um, more simple for dev developers to interact with and for smart contract developers to interact with. And therefore, we are actually going through a few refinements to make sure that the interface is as smooth as possible, even for developers. Yes. So as you can see, we now can review as a user what we're going to sign for. Uh, we will be paying this uh, amount of KDA, but it will not be directly transferred to the merchant. Instead, it will be set on a escrow account via a delivery contract. So this contract will be making sure that all the money will be held on an escrow account so that all the parties that are involved do not need to trust each other and can just make sure that because they're using a delivery contract, that this contract will govern the entire process on a secure and safe way, right? So once I click it, uh, we will be able to sign for this. I'm signing with my uh, fingerprint. And now you see that the order is arrived at the merchant. The merchant can now uh, have, well, they have to accept it, right? If they don't accept the order, then the transaction is not being put through. But the moment they do, they will also be sending some KDA as a way to stake for the idea of, hey, I'm taking your order serious. I'm putting my uh, KDA on stake uh, to make sure that you don't have to worry about your pizza not being delivered, even though I accepted it, right? So this is a way for us as uh, customers to understand, okay, I can trust this merchant. I don't have to be afraid that uh, they just accept my KDA and uh, suddenly I lost my KDA without receiving a pizza. Yeah. So just to be clear, this has no, actually has nothing really to do with Sparky, but this is a dApp on its own that uh, gives us a trustful, trustless environment for delivering right. pizzas or whatever to the customers, right? And the main reason why we built this uh, type of dApps is to get all the different types of user interactions that we might encounter with Spikey that we want to supply a good UX for so that we are not surprised once we're actually live and then we are suddenly like, okay, wait, we didn't expect these type of use cases. Yes. All right. So this is just a proof of concept we created to test Spikey. Yes. So now the merchant can accept this order. And when they accept this order, they um, sign for it as well using their web of N key. And the moment it got, uh, su gets submitted, um, then the user can uh, see on their screen that the pizza is on the way, right? Really so cool. here you can, can see that uh, the user sees uh, and receives the notification, hey, the order has been accepted. Normally, of course, it would take a little bit longer on the, on the blockchain. It would uh, be submitted. We have to get some confirmation height. But because we're on DevNet, it's immediate. And now you can see that, okay, uh, both the customer as well as the merchant has transferred money over to the escrow. And uh, now all parties involved can be sure that everything will be uh, handled according to the terms that they agreed with. So now imagine that the merchant 
has prepared the pizza and they want uh, to mark this order as ready for delivery. So they will sign for this. And the moment it is signed for. Really cool again, the capabilities. Uh, yeah. So now you will see that the, the courier on, in their DAP will receive a notification. Hey, there is an order to be picked up, right? So uh, the courier can see, okay, it's cost me, uh, it will cost the customer six euros 25. So that customer, uh, the delivery the courier will be receiving six uh, euros uh, 25 in this case. And um, the order value is 18 KDA. In order to make sure that uh, we won't be uh, scammed by the courier, we ask the courier to also stake something, right? You can think of different type of schemes with KYC, KYB maybe, to make it in a different way. But this is just one of many different ways that we could make sure that the, uh, the courier is not going to run away with our pizza. That would be a pity. So, yeah. So this courier can now uh, sign for it from his side. Imagine, by the way, that this is the moment when the courier is at the merchant, right? It's as uh, he's now at physically at the uh, the pizzeria. Yeah, he's now got the pizza sign for and it. he signs for it. Right. Yeah. Now he gets the pizza, and now the uh, the merchant receives this uh, uh, half signed transaction. And they need to finish the transaction in order to hand off the pizza to the courier. Ah, so this is actually a multi-sig. Yes, this is multi-sig. So now the merchant will be signing for it as well. And now we are back. Uh, so from the merchant side, it will is now a... Uh, 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 given away to the courier, right? Yeah. So now everything will be handled from the courier side. Our courier will now be traveling towards our customer. In uh, so it, there, it's not implemented in this DAP in this example. But imagine that at this moment the courier will be asking the customer for their information, their address information. Note that. Up until this moment, there has been no um, information about addresses given away, right? That means mm. that this merchant has no clue where you live, right? So from a it's, privacy it's, perspective. It's incredible, right, for, for a privacy perspective. So this yeah. allows the, uh, the customer to take back control of where and who they share the information with. Yes. So imagine that, of course, the courier now has uh, asked the, uh, the the customer where they live, and now they will be driving there, and now they're delivering. So normally, that's a, in that's a piece we we didn't uh, created yet, yet, right? In this proof of concept. Yes, we haven't created the, the address uh, retrieval in this concept. Yes. So in this concept, we just uh, call them or something like that. Yeah. Um, imagine that normally you would be. Um, asking your, your uh, customer to sign for something, but normally they just put an X or something like that yeah. on some paper or on some other device. And yeah. we just accept that as a signature. Yeah. But now we will be asking for a signature that is actually way more hefty, right? It is actually tied to your account, tied to the KDA that you're holding. And the moment the user, the, the customer signs for this now. Yeah. That is the moment where all the funds on the escrow will be released to the correct parties. Oh. Right. So the moment this user signs for it and accepts the pizza, that's the moment where all the funds will be released to the customer. Uh, well, in this case, the merchant and uh, the delivery, uh, the courier. Yeah. I really love the translations of the capabilities. It makes it so easy and so understandable. Uh, now I can give this app to my son and let him order some pizzas. Right. 
So um, just just saw uh, maybe a little bit too fast. Uh, we had 100 KDA and now I'm refreshing and you see that I now have 20, uh, 75 point something KDA. Yeah. Uh, and you see that the courier now has added the, uh, the delivery fee, right? Yeah. And for the merchant, we also see the pizza being uh, paid for. Yeah. Really nice. Spiky. We now have the all these complex concepts um, made real easy, and people can just actually start ordering without them having an account or whatsoever, without them needing to create a mnemonic key. Remember twelve or twenty-four uh, four words, etc. It's just pass key that uh, remembers all of it for you. It's. Uh, it's really great, really great technology. I'm super excited about this one. Um, so we're looking into even way more different ways to make it easier for an end user to understand things and interact with the, each other. So this is just like maybe the tip of the iceberg that we're working on and we're trying to make it even easier. We're aiming for, for the stars. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, uh, Andy, and uh, thank you very much. Um, I think I have one more question, a question uh, I think our viewers will, uh, would also like to know. Um, when, 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 uh, right? Um, uh, of course, we're working really hard on this. Uh, and I think we're going to uh, create some sort of a beta release very fairly soon. Um, uh, but without supporting fungible, so people right. can start uh, testing the the user flow and hopefully can give us some more feedback on this as well. Some uh, additional context on why we are disabling the fungibles. We don't want to have anyone lose their funds, right? So we want to make sure that everything is audited before anyone can interact with the web of N wallet. Um, when we actually have verified that everything is safe. So uh, we still want to do an audit, uh, but before we do an audit, we want to make sure that everything is in place. Uh, We're still working on some uh, user experience parts that we still don't feel like it is as smooth as we want it to be. And once that is done, we will actually make it uh, available to everyone. Yes. One more question, though, because I, I'm thinking, I, I think a lot of wallet builders are now thinking, is this going to be available to us as well? Yes, it will. And we encourage everyone to, uh, especially wallet developers, to contact us so that we can actually work together and see how we can help you. And if we have supported all the use cases that you guys also need. So uh, please help us help you. Famous last words. All right, then uh, thank you very much, Andy, for this demo. Uh, I hope uh, the viewers uh, are pleased now as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I actually cannot wait to put this product out in the wild and te start testing. Same here. All right. Have a good one. Bye. -bye. Bye.